welcome back to my channel so today i have come up with a topic how to write a review paper so writing a review paper is not a very easy task it requires a lot of understanding a lot of uh, uh, literature review which has to be done how to come up with that flow right so this is slightly different from normal uh, regular uh, paper writing so let me give you some details about how to write a review paper today so this is basically to support some research review paper before you go into your actual study if you do a review paper it gives you much more details or clarity about the areas already been explored and you can even try to find out the gap in the literature which will help you in finding out the further studies how to go forward so basically when you are writing a review paper there is no proper structure like a, a, a paper that is regular paper like in the regular paper you will have introduction materials and methods results and discussion conclusion references okay so this is the usual format but in review uh, article there can be slight variations the way you write but basically there needs to be a proper uh, subheadings what needs to be focused in your review paper based on that you can put the subheadings but there will be definitely abstract introduction and conclusion so these things will be there but basically these things will mainly highlight about the review like what is your review all about and how you are trying to uh, give some output from your uh, review article what are the gaps you are trying to identify and uh, future prospects what you are trying to implement okay so in this way the review paper can go about so usually when we write a review paper we may have to download multiple papers so you can uh, try to use google scholar to review, uh, download the papers and once you download the papers i al always recommend you to uh, i mean not just download and keep it in some folders make the folders appropriately okay so maybe some papers are general uh, put in a general folder then some papers may be on the methods you put it in the methods folder and then you can uh, label the papers accordingly what is the paper about because sometimes what happens is we just keep on downloading but we never open the paper also right so that is why if you uh, label it properly and keep it in suitable folders whenever you are writing that section of the review you just open that folder read those papers and based on that you can write and uh, coming to review papers definitely introduction abstract and conclusion it's going to be written at the end because once you come out to the entire review writing you get a basic idea how to write the abstract and conclusion and uh, definitely the title should be a catchy one and the abstract should highlight the motivation of the study and the major conclusions from the review okay so this is very very important because whenever you submit any review paper to any journal first thing is the editor sees is the title okay so the this title should be a catchy one so that they can process it further for uh, further review so title should be very good abstract should be very clear giving the highlights of the motivation and conclusions from the review and ideally a review can go from 6000 to 8000 words with 15 to 25 pages with maximum six figures and six tables so it might vary based on journal to journal but this is the uh, ideal conditions so usually when you are planning your review please plan the figures and tables simultaneously because you keep on doing some figures or tables but later you get to know from the journal template that you can have only maximum six figures then you will have wasted so much time doing extra figures and tables so see to it that you stick to the journal guidelines check the guidelines first fix your journal where you want to publish your uh, review article and based on that you can plan the appropriate figures and tables so uh, definitely for uh, making figures and tables a lot of things are available which can be useful so one thing is uh, so for making figures you can use bio render tool so i have already made a video on this bio render tool if you want more details on that you can please check on that tool uh, video which i have made for uh, more updates on it and uh, definitely in a review paper if you do, do a bibliometric analysis kind of data it will be very very useful so this also i have made a video you can just check it for how to do a bibliometric analysis using scopus database so these kind of things will add to your review and tables definitely as i told you need to plan so you can use excel because it will orient it properly so that can be very useful for uh, formatting and definitely when you are using uh, uh, review papers definitely you know that there are multiple references you are trying to put so if you try to use some reference management tools like uh, mendeley 
uh, desktop version is also available this will be very very useful so i recommend you to use all these four so that you can make your review process the writing process slightly easier so let me show you with an uh, example of a review paper that we had published so this is one of the review paper that we published in uh, marine pollution bulletin i'll just show you the review so that you get an idea how to write a review paper so as i told you the title should be very uh, catchy so we had written a paper on microplastic occurrence detection removal with emphasis on insect gut microbiota for the removal of microplastics so this was our team so you can see abstract very concise within 100 to 150 words giving some details about what is microplastic some methods which are used for removal and coming to the uh, basic study like uh, how insect microbiota has been used explored so whatever the for review is focusing that has been highlighted in the abstract itself so once the editor reads your abstract he gets an idea about what is the review all about so that will be slightly uh, uh, easier for them also to process your paper for further review so you can see first you have introduction so you can see i have used uh, reference manager so that's why the references have come very beautifully so uh, we have uh, figures right so once introduction is there you can see we have done bibliometric analysis so i have already made a video on this where we are using scopus database you can make some data like this so it's very easy you need to just use some click of the buttons using scopus database so this will give you some details and that will be very useful for review papers and then definitely side headings this planning is very very important so what will be my next side heading so first plan your side headings accordingly start filling the data this becomes easier okay so in this way we have planned see i have used bio render tool for making this beautiful images so i already made a video on this you can check that for more updates so review papers are focused mostly on these kind of things where you have multiple tables and figures and bibliometric analysis which will be useful okay so instead of reading 10 papers if you read one review paper that can be more than sufficient okay so in that way a lot of data can be got from a single review paper okay so you can see we made a table on detection of various microplastics and their effects like based on sorts type of microplastic concentration size detection methods effects so you can see so much data you can get from a single table right so in this way you can plan your tables plan your figures and plan your side headings so these are the important things okay so these are all the figures that we did microplastic removal tables again okay so it's all about how you uh, try to give sections to your paper so this is all done from bio render i would acknowledge bio render for this so in this way we have done this review paper which was published with the impact factor i think 7 right so in this way see we have one section on uh, challenges faced and future prospects so if you just make a review paper telling this this ital did this work did this this ital did that work your review paper will never get accepted right you need to give a clear clarity about the work which is done what is your understanding or your discussion on those works critically you have to discuss it and you may have to give the gaps in the literature so those kind of things should be very much highlighted in a review paper so what are the challenges what are the future prospects so that part also we have given as a separate section so in this way we tried to write this review paper and uh, we have used uh, mendeley uh, reference manager for managing our references because you can see how many references we have multiple references right we uh, i think more than 100 references we had so all that was managed with the mendeley reference manager so in this way using these uh, simple tips which i have told you today i think it will be very useful for writing any review paper so definitely as i told you please create folders of the papers with suitable side headings and please put the papers in those folders with proper labeling so that whenever you writing whenever you are writing that part of the paper you just down, uh, open those folders and read and write so in this way it can be slightly easier uh, formatting and even uh, management will be easier there uh, during writing and definitely once you uh, it is not very easy it requires some uh, confidence and once you have published one or two review papers in good journals with q1 or q2 definitely you will get that confidence and definitely 
you need to give a kick start for this writing it will not happen overnight it requires a lot of uh, patience because review papers require a lot of understanding and uh, critical discussions has to be done so it requires time so please give some time and try to uh, follow the tips which i have told you this will definitely help you in writing at least one review paper thank you for watching thank you for supporting me till date if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel please like the videos please share the videos to the research fraternity and please uh, subscribe and share this videos so that in case anybody is uh, having some difficulty like what is review paper how exactly to write a review paper this video will be of definitely some help to them thank you